All right. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining the City Planning Commission June 12 pre meeting. This is a meeting uh, between staff and the planning commissioners uh, where we discuss each cases and just go over everything um, just as a last minute review and touch base. Uh, there is no participation by the applicants or uh, the public at this meeting. Um, that will follow at the public hearing, which is held at 6 p.m. Um, as an uh, announcement, this will be our last virtual hearing. Our next scheduled hearing is August 9th, and that meeting will be conducted in person um, at City Hall and City Council Chambers. Uh, same start time, so the pre-meeting's at 5, and the public hearing itself is at 6 p.m. Um, commissioners and applicants will be in person. For anyone wishing to, uh, to comment on a case, they may do so either by showing up at the hearing or they can submit comment and writing ahead of time. Uh, with that being said, um, I will <coughs> bring up, we only have one item on our agenda this evening. That is uh, um, a project at 25 Karen Street. So for the sake of the conversation, I'll bring up that staff report. Um, actually, before I share my screen, I just wanna see of our four commissioners present, were you all able to visit the site? Yes. One, yes. Two, and Kim? Okay, great. All right, now I'll open the staff report. This is a um, property that's located in an industrial uh, zoning district, and they are looking to establish outdoor storage, which is a special permit use in that industrial zone, uh, zoning district. Um, there are requirements for outdoor storage, which is uh, one of the things that you guys will be reviewing tonight. So on the second page of the staff report uh, is a list of the all of the requirements for this specified use and which ones are not in compliant and which ones are compliant. So we will only be looking at the two that are not in compliant as they relate to um, outdoor storage occurring in the front yard and uh, it being within 200 feet of a residential open district. So there was one piece of public comment received on that one from a representative of the 19th Ward Community Association. They will also be present this uh, evening to um, state their comment verbally into the record. But um, here we have an overview of the site and you can see there's a side that shares the boundary with an open space district. Uh, this is the canal right here. So this is one of the things you'll be looking at as well as, I'm gonna to go to the site plan real quick. Um, the fact that some of the outdoor storage is happening in the front yard. So right now the site is currently vacant and they're gonna construct this metal building. And you can see that the front yard is gonna be from this point and this point, anything in front of it. So all of these are in the front yard. Um, so that's one thing that we have to be looking at. Um, in terms of screening, this is all contained in the staff report, but they are proposing six foot solid wood fence and the dumpsters or the outdoor storage that's occurring in front of there um, are short. I think they, which is included in the staff report, they're of a lesser height. Um, but this is all information you've already been provided ahead of time. I was just kind of using my sweet time since we only have one report uh, one case tonight to kind of just go over the minutiae here but um did you guys have any questions for me yeah i did kind of uh was there on the map of the uh fence and appeared to be in in the center of the berm is that correct uh the fence is going to be along the property line right here so they're proposing a six foot chain link fence in the rear actually let me zoom in even closer because it's not oh, yeah. your length yeah, that's on the canal side. Correct. And, and the, the berm, the berm itself is also on the canal side. Okay. And then the other a wooden fence on the north and on the on the east. Yep. Is that also on the top of the berm? On their property line? No, the berm is kind of just like overgrown landscaping that's kind of providing which is kind of acting as screening, inadvertent screening right now from the canal. I don't know if I'm, I, let me just quickly look through these pictures. So is a berm more on the adjoining parcel? 
the berm's on the adjoining parcel. For the sake okay. of this document, the berm is not cited as it's screening. Uh, screening is only required to shield it from like the public view. So for the sake of, um, I'm gonna go to these, these th things that we're waiving. So we're looking at one of the things when this permit was reviewed is whether or not it's um, visible from the right of way. And we were looking at the right of way, Karen Street, and how if we would be able to see the outdoor storage from there. So from the right of way, Karen Street, we're unable to. So Anna, okay. the, the the site of the containers, the, I mean the the height of the containers are. Um, did I read eight feet? No, uh, that's the max. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So right here we have. Um, oh sure. Yes, I see. This yeah. This one is three and a half, and the tallest one is eight. And I'm going to zip to the site plan, and I can show you where they've placed the eight feet ones. So I think it like equates to be, at any given time there'll be fifty to sixty of these containers, right. and um, the ones along this property line and the ones along this property line are going to range a little bit in size, but these are going to be the biggest and the tallest, not to exceed eight feet tall. <clears throat> okay. But in terms of like when you're driving by. Um, the shortest ones are going to be placed and they will not exceed the fence mm -hmm. height. Uh, I know the neighborhood association has a number of questions and um, comments and concerns. I think um, one of theirs is if it's going to be visible from Chai Lai Ave. So you can see that this is the project location here. It's currently vacant land. And um, this is Chai Lai right now. So if you're driving along Chai Lai, uh, if you're going to be able to see the containers. Um, and that's obviously, it might be helpful for, all, for all, um, the commissioners to review those public comments so they can be asked in the record to the applicant. Is that... Oh, um, Milton, were you able to visit the site? I didn't see that you joined us. Oh, yes. Sorry, yeah, I was a little, little late. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else? Nope, I don't think so. All righty. Uh, with that being said, I guess we will adjourn the pre-meeting and then we'll reconvene at 6 p.m. for the hearing itself. Okay, oh, you want to give Markeba a call? Yeah, um, I'll give her a call. I, I imagine she'll join at six. But oh, sure, I understand. Yeah. All right, 